All right, so this is the Goodyear Hall. Old world architecture. Goodyear is the quote unquote last name of the brothers who found the Goodyear Tire Company. So they didn't build this. And this is just a small building part of it. Um, there's factories all over Akron. Um, but yes, they found the Goodyear Tire Company. What I want, one of the things I wanted to point out was the winged foot. So here in Akron, Ohio, that's kind of a popular name. We have a park named Wingfoot. We have um, um, roads and lakes and stuff like that. And we also still have airships in Akron, Ohio. And we do have a couple hangars, one that is currently active. And I am going to uh, get video of that and talk on that. But the winged foot is interesting because that the idea of speed had much to do with Goodyear's selection of the symbol, is what their narrative is. But the winged foot is Mercury, was regarded as a fleet of herald of good news. So the winged foot is a positive symbol and uh, it's meant to bring good tidings. So they're using, you know, some uh, good old uh, symbology after they found the Goodyear Theater. And what I'm going to attempt to try to do is tie all these together, the ancient te technology, the ancient buildings, how they were founded, and then also airships, which were once used in the previous civilization abundantly. They were free energy engines, and um, we still have one here. And it just happens to be, the hangar happens to be at Wingfoot Lake. All right, so this will be um, a fun little journey. All right, getting up a little closer. Man, what a beautiful building. Look at that, work in that. Let's get a better angle in the sun here. Unbelievable. Building that was part of our ancient past. Just gotta get this. Really amazing. Just the detail. And something like that underneath. Past civilization. Which I believe was around, you know, during the times when uh, God, Jesus, everybody was running the place. Because they're not running it right now, that's for sure. I think we're in Satan's short season. And all this architecture was built by them because it's just amazing the detail is perfection it's technology that we can't fathom now yeah here at the front that 1177 is uh, pretty curious of course that is all marble yeah that's marble Just these pillars alone. And then over here, we have a bell tower. And right when I was getting here, it was uh, turning four o'clock and it was ringing and I missed it. <laughs> we all know about bells, what they, the healing powers they had and all the major bells have been damaged from the previous world. Take away all that good stuff from us and bring in the poisons. I'm gonna get more of that in a minute. One other thing I wanted to point out, that they converted this into a, a theater at this point. Um, but it has Ohio Savings and Trust. So when they took over this uh, and, and found it, quote unquote, because they didn't build this. It was already here, we found it. Founded, that's why we 
about our founding fathers because they didn't they didn't build anything. They found it. You don't say I found my house. You built your house. Enough said. All right. All right, so I am at Wingfoot Lake. And as I was talking about the winged foot, and as you saw, that is the Goodyear blimp. We call it the blimp around Akron. I find it very interesting that Akron still has an airship and that is how the uh, ancient world got around um, they were like luxury hotels floating in the air just amazing free energy they don't use helium they use free energy and this is a very very hush hush um, area like you're not allowed anywhere this is the closest you can get to it across the lake you can't drive up to it um, so whatever they're keeping secret in there it's the free energy um, just the architecture of these things left over now another thing I wanted to point out is Akron's uh, area code is 330 so those of you who know about 33 so it would make sense that stuff like this would be kept in the 330 area code area But so anyway, this is this is the Goodyear hangar, and I'm at Wingfoot Lake again. I'm tying that into uh, this all being connected, you know, with the Goodyear and the ancient architecture that you know these every city takes over, and it just uh, took over the ancient technology. This is a state park, so this is state owned, so that means it's uh, the narrative of this park is you know controlled by the ones who write the narrative. Another thing I wanted to point out was that, first of all, this park, Wingfoot State Park, was built for the factory workers at Goodyear. So this was a private park for the workers at Goodyear. Goodyear was still has the you know, rubber manufacturer, and you know, right there, early 1900s when everything was switching over. And uh, the controllers were rewriting the narrative and changing everything around. Akron was used for its rubber everywhere in the whole world, all across Earth. Also, these workers at these factories, there's another one called Firestone in Akron. We had Goodyear and Firestone. There was housing built for them in different areas of Akron. Um, you know, obviously they're called Firestone and Goodyear, Hi Goodyear Heights and Firestone. Um, so these workers were basically given a job, a house, and everything they needed to repopulate and work their 40 hours a week and basically be slaves to the new system that was rolling in. I just wanted to uh, point that out. Try to get in there a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's charging. It's charging up. That is a free energy thing going on right there. That's a whole system. If I had my tripod, I could probably make this a little better, but look at that. 
charging right up into it. So like I said, these don't use helium. They use free energy. This is free energy technology left over from the civilization just before that built all that architecture and just divine, amazing place. But they hung on to some of it. They still use it right in, right in front of our face. Same with the jet planes. Free energy turbines. So yeah, if anybody uh, wants to kind of leave some good responses in the comments and uh, uh, you kind of see how I'm kind of connecting these dots and maybe I'm missing something, you know, I probably am. <laughs> um, but it's definitely all connected and I'd love to hear um, other people's thoughts on how this is all connected and um, if you kind of see where I'm going with it. This won't be the last because there is a lot of different things in Akron that really reveal the true history that the ones who write the his story have changed and made it to work for them. Um, we're definitely in Satan's short season, a time of constant deception and Everything's backwards. So that's a good starting point. Anything that you're told, reverse it. That's usually where the truth is. Until next time.